Hey, what's going on, guys? You guys see my shirt that commemorating the U.S. South Korea Alliance, and I'm going to talk to you today about um, in memory of Arthur Boniface and Mark Barrett, Captain Arthur Boniface and First Lieutenant Mark Barrett of the United States Army. And on August 18, 1976, they were senselessly killed and hacked by North Korean soldiers along the DMZ. Now, the DMZ, the DMZ at the time was not as heavily fortified as it, as it um, is now, but it was one of the areas of the DMZ that was jointly patrolled by the U.S. and South Korean soldiers, so it was called the JSA, the Joint Security Area. And there was a tree on, uh, on South Korea's side of the DMZ that was affecting uh, U.S. vision and U.S. observation of North Korean soldiers along the DMZ. Well, they were going to cut the tree down. Well, North Korean soldiers show up and say no. Well, the U.S. proceeds to cut down the tree anyway. Well, the North Korean soldiers drag Arthur Boniface and Mark Barrett to their side, senselessly beat them, and then they hack them to death. The beating lasted about one minute, and but the U.S. was still determined to cut the tree down, so they launched Operation Paul Bunyan, where they cut the tree down, and flying over the DMZ were American B-52 bombers, uh, and then there were also South Korean F-5 fighters that were escorting those bombers. And then the South Korean military sent their spec ops soldiers who had black belts in Hapkido and Taekwondo, um, sent them along the DMZ, and the tree was cut. And there's a memorial for Arthur Boniface and Mark Barrett where they were um, senselessly hacked. And they were patriots. They died defending freedom, the freedoms of the United States and South Korea. Um, Aoyang News did a good video on this, commemorating their memory. On, uh, they did this video on August 18th, South Korea time. And they interviewed Kim Moon Wan, who is a retired Major General in the U.S. Army, I mean, in the South Korean Army. But at the time, he was a Katusa soldier, Korean augmentation to the U.S. Army, and he was a good friend of Captain Arthur Boniface. And he says he remembers this incident like it was yesterday. So, hope everybody's doing well. Take care. God bless and Bye-bye. Bye-bye.